Who wants to see a sneak peek of the map that Danros Props is making? I do! I do! I do! Yes, guys. This is a map that I have designed just using the scoreboard command. Finally, I'm playing around with it. Uh, I thought I would show you a quick video of what I'm working on. It's taken me quite a while to work all this out because... Yeah, it's not a lot of info on the store, uh, scoreboard command, so I'm kind of learning as I go, if you like. But anyway, this is my makeshift cookie clicker kind of game, okay? So I'm in adventure, as you can see. This is your hub, like spawn, okay? And we've got a, a jukebox here. Whenever I click it, I get given a cookie. And whenever you get a cookie, you can see <laughs> it goes over here. Look where my mouse is, see? Cookie counter, down rose probs, one two and so on if I keep clicking you can hear my mouse clicking it counts each time I pick up one but when I get to 100 cookies something happens okay so bear with me once I get to 100 I am still working on this guy so it's not finished but I don't know when the release date will be but I just wanted to show you what I'm working on just so you know what's coming if you like uh, so I need, what, nine more, six more, one, two, three, and we got a sapling. Now, we're in adventure mode, right? Oh, but I got a sapling that can be placed on grass blocks. Okay, so we plant that. Okay, continue. Oh, but hang on a minute. I've got a hundred cookies, right? Oh, there's a button here. This is a reset button. No, not that one. <laughs> this one here, 200 cookies. I wonder what that does. Hmm. We shall find out. I'll speed this bit up, guys, because it's going to be a bit boring, I think. <laughs> there we go. And we've got ourselves an axe, right? Oh. Weak wooden axe, free attack damage. Okay. So obviously we can use this axe. We're in adventure mode. Chop down the wood. Okay. But we've got 201 cookies. Now what happens if I press this button? Oh, an automated cookie machine's been bought. <laughs> How awesome is this, guys? I think this is brilliant. So obviously, keep going. Here we go guys, we've hit 200. Do I buy another one or do I keep going? That's the question. Let's keep going, shall we? Oh no, skeletons, quick. Oh, hang on a minute. I could use these skeletons, the skeleton bones to help me grow. Whoa, you actually spawned with some enchanted stuff to help me grow the sapling. Ah yes, let's, uh, let's kill these a minute. I can. Jesus. What? Protection 2. I thought that was pretty strong. Anyway, let's change these to bone meal and grow this tree, shall we? Where is it? Okay. All grown. Oh. Um. Yeah, maybe I need to add a... Uh, 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 it can break leaves. Hang on. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm still working on this, guys. So we'll put it on S for a minute. Obviously, we get some wood, okay? Don't worry, I'll fix it. I'm gonna craft this into a crafting table. Like so. And now, we're actually gonna type in on here cookie. What on earth is this? Compress cookie? What on earth is that? Yes, you can make eight cookies like that, but you can also make a compressed cookie from nine cookies. To make that, you need that, but you can actually get a cookie block. Look at this. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm going to be using cookies as trades. I'm going to add a bit of a villager trade system, but I want this to be a map where it's all an adventure and you need to get different ores and progress up. I've kind of got it working a bit, as you can see. But I wanted to just make a little video, show you what I'm working on. And maybe you guys have got some other ideas or something in the comments section. But 
yeah, I'll just go into uh, game mode C and just fly out and show you. Obviously, I'm still in a work in progress. It is a void. It's nothing too special. Um, I am just going to hit reset button wherever it is. It's, it's basically for me the reset button. It's not um, actually intended for the map. But yeah, I've been on Universal Minecraft Editor. I've edited the inventory of a jukebox to a cookie. But it's not a cookie, guys. It's actually a gold nugget, okay? So if I actually see, this one says equipment. That's actually um, the actual cookie you eat. Because look, if I grab two, that one's going to go because it thinks it's a gold nugget, okay? This one's the one I can eat. Whereas this, I can't eat, I can't do anything with. It's just literally a cookie. <laughs> but yeah, I've been quite clever there and done that. And I've just set up all of this, okay? Now this is um, clearing. Whenever it, it knows I've got a gold nugget, it's going to add the cookie counter on the side. And then this one here actually adds it as well, okay? Because it's two. Oops. And then this one is just set blocking a comparator, which is unpowered. And then this is just adding a cookie to the scoreboard. And then this is clearing a gold nugget. Now, I need to clear it for it to count, if you know what I mean. So, I'm yet to come out of a system where I can actually, you know... Once you get nine... Oh, I'm going to have to... Uh, break it. Don't worry, this is a copy word. So, if I just get rid of that. And I get myself some cookies. These ones. I can show you that you can actually craft... Can't here. Uh, game mode S. And look, I can actually craft compressed cookies, which is technically a gold ingot, okay? But I've retextured and done that. But obviously, when you make. What am I doing here? Here we go. Nope. There it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna slash give at S uh, gold. Oops. Nugget. See, it's coming up with a picture of a cookie. Uh, 64. Okay. So I craft a couple more. And now I can actually craft a self a cookie block. Now, I actually kind of like this. I think it's pretty funny. Um, game mode. Let's see. I'm not, you know, a texture person or anything, but I kind of just randomly come up with this. It kind of looks like a sponge, I guess, but it's just a load of cookies in a block. Random, I know, but that is going to be part of the currency system because obviously this map's all about cookies, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in me. I've got an obsession with things beginning with C, I think. Cookies and chickens. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. Ah, it happened again because we got 250. So if you notice, I need to still work on this because obviously when you hit 250, it summons skeletons. I will just show you. This is the... Um, you know, if I keep putting some redstone down, that actually adds cookies to my, you know, like cookie counter on the side. So you see it goes up pretty quick now, which is pretty cool. And just here is the counting. So if you put scoreboard players test at P and then whatever you named your scoreboard objective, okay, you can actually set it in different ranges. And that's how it's detecting when I'm at 250 between 250 or 251, it will actually summon the skeletons. Okay, and I've just added some sounds and stuff. This was just uh, destroying a chest, and yeah, I've actually had to rename the items and stuff. But it looks like nothing, but honestly guys, trying to work all this out has taken quite a while actually. There's not really a lot going on with the scoreboard command. I mean, we haven't got it as good as Java, but hey well, maybe in the future, eh? Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I hope that you liked just a quick preview of that. But uh, yeah, that's my cookie clickers on the Bedrock Edition. <laughs> the beginnings of, I should say. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye! Should uh, probably eat a cookie for the end, right? Um, nope, I haven't got any. Okay, just have to uh, throw a cookie block at you then. <laughs>